Yesterday in Taiwan, we went to scrapyards, but today we're going to be looking around for used PC parts shops and seeing what deals we can find here in Taipei. And this is a city called Guangha, which is essentially like their electric district in Taiwan. It's the place you want to come to, especially if you want to buy new parts. But speaking of the new parts, we already checked one of the stores that has some of the best prices. And the prices on CPUs are kind of mediocre. I mean, AliExpress still has the best deals in terms of getting CPUs shipped to your door, actually by quite a big margin. And also GPUs were pretty much similar prices here than they are in the US, for instance. I was looking at an RX 6600. That's coming around 200 US here as well. And RTX 3060s and RTX 4060s, they're pretty similar prices too. However, come join us today and let's see what deals we can find in Taipei City. Computex 2024 is brought to you by Aorus and their new lineup of OLED gaming monitors featuring the Faux 32 U2P, which is the first 32-inch OLED monitor to support DisplayPort 2.1, as well as having a refresh rate of 240Hz at 4K. Then there's the Faux 27Q3, a 27-inch 1440p with a whopping refresh rate of 360Hz. All these monitors have incredibly fast response times and variable refresh rate, HDMI 2.1, as well as a built-in keyboard, video, and mouse switch. And the best thing is, there's built-in Aorus OLED care to minimize the risk of burn-in. Links in description below to find out more. Second floor, yeah? Yeah. Ni hao. That's the wrong kind of 5700 right there. <laughs> Don't be fooled by that one. There's a junk bin right there, but there's just no pricing whatsoever. You want 800 for that? Yeah, yeah, this was the... Damn. This was the first place we went to. 1800 for that? Damn. So it's the same as Japan sort yeah. of thing, yeah. And it's working? Like it all yeah. works? With warranty. What, with warranty? How long? Uh, ba gu do sa. Uh, one month. Sweet. Don't forget to kiss it. <laughs> Who knows where this money's been? <laughs> Beauty. This here is our first deal of the day, and it is an RX 6600 XT that we got for I believe around 110 US dollars, which makes it under half price, and they're giving you a one month warranty. Now this store is called Green League, and it's in this Guangha district. I'll put the map up on the screen for you guys because the guys spoke English in there too, so if you're just a tourist looking for a bargain AMD card, this is probably gonna be the place where you'll get one. And the thing was they initially wanted 4,000. I just said, look, would you take 3,500? And they said, sure. So I think when it comes to negotiating in Taiwan, however, one thing you do have to keep in mind is that the asking price is generally right around where they want to sell the stuff at, and they generally don't budge a whole lot. But of course, I always go for a shave, even if they don't budge too much, because when you shave off 500 NTD, that just makes the deal even sweeter. And so what we got here is just an amazing deal just to start off this day. But in terms of other deals in there, the Nvidia cards were definitely a lot higher than what I'm used to getting in say Japan or Australia. And also on top of that, they had a lot of older parts. But if we look at what we got in the scrap yard yesterday, we got much better deals, even from that third junkyard where we got the motherboards from that were tested and working versus this place. So I guess like always, we're just playing whack-a-mole and seeing what are the best deals that pop up anywhere we are. So let's go now to the next store, see what's cracker lacking, and see what deals unravel. Hey, are you gonna use Grav's cards? Yes, I've used. Oh. Just ask him. You know, some people just come into crazy trade-ins, yeah. and then they just want to quickly hot potato that shit off their hands. Yeah, yeah. They pay a hundred bucks for a 3060, and then you give them 150, yeah. and they're like, well, I just made 50 bucks. Like, yeah. No, you're right, you're right. So this is the one here? Yeah. So which one would have PC parts? Upstairs. Okay. Oh, he's not open today. Oh, Monday to Saturday. Monday's open, yeah. What about downstairs? Nothing. Downstairs, they might. 
Oh. Okay, 1200. Okay. So yeah, I mean, what's so you got your PGA right here? Oh, right? you got parallel ports right here. So right? if you need a solder yeah, stuff you on, wanna, your port's broken, right? It's rusted like the yeah, uh, other yeah, motherboard. Yeah. I can do this in very, very easily with the right tool. Okay, so if you want to fixing fix your parts, this is the place to come to. Yep. Okay. okay, well, now he's here. All right, cool, let's do it. So he's found six GTX 1060s and they're untested. So we have just now picked up another deal here for a GTX 1066 gigabyte, or actually five GTX 1066 gigabytes. And we got these for a thousand NTD a piece. Now, this is at a store that's actually a little bit outside of the city. Before we were in that Guanghua Electronic District, we did go through all the stores there and check if there was any more used PC parts for sale. But unfortunately, it was a Sunday, so a lot of stores were closed. But also, we did check window shopping prices, and the prices were actually a lot more expensive, nearly double to what we were getting, say, at that store that had the tested motherboards, they were all guaranteed and working. So I was thinking to myself, well, let's just try and find some deals. And then we came to a store that we actually visited last year, and this was called Yes PC. So it's exactly where Tech Yes City wants to go. And what we found here was these GTX 1066 gigabytes. Now, he's tested them all, installed the drivers, showed me that they're working, because of course, I'm not gonna be in Taiwan in a week's time. So I wanna be getting these deals and making sure they're working. But also I checked for other parts here and unfortunately he really only had like an RX 588 gigabyte and he wanted 1800 NTD for this RX 580. And so at that price for an RX 580, it's a no go. However, you may have noticed in some of the B-roll that there was a lot of other PC parts at this store. Unfortunately, he said he had not tested any of it and he wasn't willing to sell the stuff simply because he had just moved stores from his previous location, which was just across the street. So apparently the owner of the building has put the rent up and he's just like, well, I can't afford this rental price anymore. So he's moved to a smaller shop. Though regardless of all that, we have a bargain price here on a GTX 1066 gigabyte. So let's put this in the backpack or actually five of them and let's check out the next used store. Oh, here we go. Uh, 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 So we've just finished up now at a place called Sen Hung and we scored some pretty good deals, but there's a lot to talk about here because the place we visited right before that, they ended up having nothing. In fact, they've just stopped doing used parts altogether. And looking at a few trends, we will talk about this right after we talk about the used deals we got here. Now we ended up picking up three second generation motherboards for 300 NTD a pop. That comes with a cooler, a CPU, and also RAM included. And now he's tested this stuff and he says it all works. So that's a pretty good deal in itself, similar to those sort of junkyard deals we got yesterday, but we know the stuff works. So I feel like we got an even better deal from this place on these parts. And then he had two old GPUs, a GTX 750 as well as a GTX 960, both two gigabyte models, but he was literally charging uh, 250 NTD each for both of these. He just didn't care. And so that would be really about nine USD. So I was like, I'll take those two little bangers because you never know when someone needs a Roblox gaming PC and you need just parts like that. Anyone who's selling used gaming PCs knows one thing, and that is you have to service all markets. 
But when it comes to motherboards like B450s, B550s, I'm really coming up empty handed here, at least at good prices, especially compared to those previous parts hunts we just did in Japan, which I'll put the link up here to those parts hunts if you haven't seen them, because we were getting some really good deals on used AM4 motherboards. And I'm also looking, of course, for things like Z490, Z390, and really nothing's coming up here. So the used market right now in Taiwan, there is a lot going on that we need to talk about. But since we're out the front of this guy's store, I don't want to take up too much of his time and block the entrance. So what we're going to do right now is grab a used train ride... <laughs> a used train ride home. Yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to use... <laughs> So what we're going to do right now is just get a used train ride right home and talk about one of the deals that we've actually landed online and also another deal that could have been but it won't be unfortunately and we'll just stop blocking this poor guy's store because we're just filming right out the front and he's really busy today too. So let's hit the road. Ah, oh, that right there is the best health insurance you're going to get on a budget. Let's get on now to talking about what is going on in Taiwan, in particular in relation to the used market. What I've been seeing this year is, and I've been actually asking around, that store that we went to that was a bust, they basically said, look, we don't really have any GPUs at good prices for you because a lot of these GPUs, we're just sending them off to China because they're paying pretty good dollars for them. And so that's the dynamic here as opposed to Japan and Australia, right? It's just way too much to ship those things to China. And so the costs are just a lot there. But apparently there's this GPU demand coming from China for a lot of especially NVIDIA cards. And I guess that leaves us in a real selective market where you got to go against the grain. Because actually this year, I don't think I've been... I picked up really good deals here today. But I don't think it's as good in terms of opportunities, right? Last time I was here and the years before that, I've been sort of like turning down deals. Here I just got whatever I could and it ended up being pretty good here today. But also when we went online, I was like, well, let's just check out what's on Facebook Marketplace. Let's just check out what's on Shopee.com because Shopee.com is like Taiwan's sort of budget place to get parts like Mail Cardi in Japan and maybe like Facebook Marketplace or eBay in, in Australia. And they actually had a good deal on a Ryzen 7 1700. Everything else, like a Ryzen 5 3600, a Ryzen 7 5700X, they're all better prices on AliExpress. Same with Intel CPUs, i5 2400, things like that, i7 8700. I'm just looking for these good value deals. But the only good deal was a Ryzen 7 1700, which was 1000 NTD. So we decided to get that. Marco actually got it for me because he's got an account and he can get it shipped to the local convenience store where I'm at and I can pick it up. And that ends up being around 30 US dollars, which is an absolute bargain for a Ryzen 7 1700. And so you've got this market right now where you've got to go against the grain and everyone's buying NVIDIA cards in Taiwan. And so you've got this bargain on a Ryzen uh, 7 1700 as well as an RX 6600 XT. And so that's kind of like your, I guess you go to value price performance PC right here in Taiwan. But I was also surprised that the new CPUs, the prices of new GPUs, they're all really just mediocre, especially since this is one of the countries where a lot of the stuff is made and a lot of these companies have their headquarters here. So kind of like Taiwan is really just more asphyxiated on new parts right now. The used market's sort of taking a back seat and I'm really seeing that come out this year. And looking on Facebook Marketplace, I was just banging out offers on DDR4 memory, DDR5 memory, and also even things like RTX 3060s and 3080s. And now one guy came back to me actually. And we agreed on a price of, I think it was 10,000 NTD for an RTX 3080. The problem was he won't be back in the city. So he's on holidays and he's left the city for a few days and he won't be back in time to do this deal with us. But I could have landed an RTX 3080 for actually a pretty good price. But that was like the one deal out of so many offers I had sent on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm not messing around when it comes to getting these used deals, but it's definitely looking like a tough market right now. Anyhow, guys, we're going to wrap up this parts hunt. I'll put the tally up on the screen here for the deals we got here today. And everything that we got here ended up being around 335 US dollars. So I'm really impressed with the deals that we got. My favorite would actually be the RX 6600 XT. I mean, that's a guarantee and that's a really relevant card even to this date. And we just got that for a, such a good price in my opinion. The store actually, I believe they had a few more. They said they just got to get them ready. So if you are in Taiwan, 
and you're near the electronics district and you want a pretty good graphics card at a good price, I'd definitely pop into that store and just say, hey, can I get this for 3500 And that's a Tech Yes discount down from the 4000 NTD. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. And when it comes to used PC parts hunting, just remember your favorite game to play here is Whack-A-Mole. Anytime you see that price, it's just standing out. It's the better deal. Just grab it. And also, yes, I did love that comment. It just pulled my head out of the dumpster. But let's talk about macroeconomics and the M2 money supply. And with that aside, I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.